Just going to show you something cool that um, I came across today. It's a, a new, I guess you call it a service called OnLive. Um, this is running on my HTC Merge phone. Uh, it's a slider with the keyboard and it's just your basic run of the mill Android phone. And what this is is a gaming service that runs on the cloud. Um, so basically, the way this thing works is it provides all these games, but the games run on the internet. That's what's doing all the graphics processing, all the audio and so forth. And then it just sends the end result, the video and the sound, to your phone or tablet or whatever. Um, supposedly they've, they've got this sent to Apple for approval for um, iPhone and that, um, but it's already available on Android. And um, i just kind of show you here, like I'll go to the arena and these are games that other people are playing. And there's, I don't know how many, I mean, there's just hundreds, if not thousands of, of games going on. And so we can jump into any of these games and watch what the, what the player is doing. And as you can see, the graphics are console quality. So this person must be in the, the training mode to learn how to play the game. And, I mean, you can see how these are going on just live right here, real time, right in front of us. Um, there's first person shooters, racing games. And it's amazing how responsive it is considering that, um, you know, all this is running on the internet and just being relayed to me. And so this person um, paused the game. And you can choose if you're going to allow yourself to be spectated and let other people watch you play. So all these are people that have elected to allow us to watch them playing. Let me find a racing game here. And you can see the graphics quality is very high. I mean, I can get in here real close so you can see more detail. Um, this phone runs at 800 by 480, I believe, resolution. And when you play the games, they give you a trial to, um, to play Batman, uh, Lego Batman. And I'll show you the uh, marketplace where you can purchase games. And you just slide through here. I see Riley just woke up. He slept in today. <laughs> so we'll get back to where we were. And you, um, let's see if I can get this thing to focus. So Lego Batman was what I was already playing. It runs for $5.99 to buy the game. And you can play it on this device, you can play it on tablets, you can play it on a computer. Um, possibly even consoles so it's all on the cloud so you're not actually downloading and everything comes up instantly because again there's nothing to install there's nothing to download um, it, it just comes up immediately so th this is um, kind of the future or at least a big part of the future of um, gaming the, um, the primary issue is latency which is a delay so when you press the controls there's a slight fraction of a second delay before that action happens it has to go up to the internet uh, be rendered and then come back so there's there's a slight delay a lag 
when you um, as you're controlling the games, but it's actually not very bad at all. And as the networks get better, this is running here at the house on Wi-Fi, so I'm not actually on the cellular network right now. But as um, as the latency and all that improves, you'll you'll see um, this will be much more feasible. Um, but see, this game has on-screen controls. You can this this moves, this looks around. Um, you have your various buttons. You can turn those controls off if you don't want to see them. Or on a phone like this, you can use the physical keys. Um, I'm not actually going to play because you have to go through all these cutscenes at the intro to get into the game. Um, but there is a little bit of a lag. Uh, it's not too bad. It takes some getting used to. It's not perfect, uh, obviously. It's not as ideal as playing on an actual console system. But, um, I mean, it works. And it's here now, so that's kind of the amazing part. But, again, this is um, a glimpse into the future of uh, what we're going to be seeing more and more with games. So, uh, anyway... And of course, you can always get your interruptions through text messages. Um, but anyway, I just want you know you guys to check that out. Some of you might find this interesting. So anyway, that's it.